So my Fire Stick running FireOS 6.2.7.3. Let's now press the home button. And we are once again back inside our custom launcher. And Amazon, if you are watching this video, please take this as a humble request from the community that don't make this process so difficult for us. We love your devices. We love the Fire Stick, the Fire TV Cube. All we're asking is let us choose whichever launcher that we like and we really would appreciate that. And for the rest of you in this video today, let me show you how you can also get the custom launcher working on your device once again. And Amazon really made this process extremely difficult and the accessibility service issue still stands today. So we have no method or no way of using that service. Fortunately, we were able to come up with a workaround to allow us to use it. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm going to do my demonstration on the 4K Fire Stick and also the second generation Fire TV Cube. And due to the accessibility service issue, certain things are just not going to work as they did before. So please do watch this video to the end just so I can explain how to properly use this workaround. So before we start, make sure you've uninstalled the previous versions of Fire TV settings or if you're using the method using FTV Launch X, make sure you've uninstalled that as well. So make sure you've got ADB debugging enabled and let's now open up Downloader. Let's now head over to my website, which is just bit.ly forward slash TDUK. That's me and the numbers 2019 and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my site, you want to head over to the tutorial section and here is that latest tutorial. So let's scroll down. We have the step by step instructions here. And what we're looking for is a section for the actual software. And these are the two new things that we need to install the new TDUK launcher manager and also the update to the Wolf launcher. Even if you had Wolf Launcher installed already, you must install this version over it because this is the only version that understands the new workaround. So let's get the first application. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Click on install. Once that's done, let's press the back button and click on done. Let's go back up one and let's now also install the update to the Wolf Launcher. Scroll down and click on this green download button and click on install. So once you have both applications installed on your device, you can now press the home key. Now, before you do anything, before you open up the new launcher manager, you must open up your custom launcher at least once just for this process to work properly. So let's open that up once. Looks nice, looks great. Let's press the home key and we can now open up this application. So let's do that now. And here is the all new TDUK launcher helper and i have to say all credit is due to swine wolf who's the developer i've been working with for all of my toolboxes he's done some fantastic work and none of this would have been possible without him okay so for obvious reasons i'm not going to go into details on how this actual process works all you need to do is just confirm that you have adb debugging enabled and you've opened up your custom launcher once once you've done that we can now just click on disable stock launcher let's click on that when you do this for the first time, you will get this prompt here. So once again, let's click on always allow and click on OK. Let's give that a second and let's now press that all important home key. And just like that, guys, we are back inside our custom launcher. So no more giant Amazon recommended content, no more sponsored tiles, none of that stuff. We now have a custom launcher that we can use exactly how we like it. So do give a thumbs up for that. Now let's talk about those key changes. So now, for example, if I want to access the settings, if I press and hold the home key, here, for example, I can access apps. Works fine. Let's press the home key. We're out again. Let's press and hold home again. Sleep works fine. Mirroring works fine. But if I go to settings, let's click on that. It doesn't show me the settings and I'm not going to explain why for obvious reasons. So if you do want to access your native settings, 
we now need to scroll down and find this application, which is actually the launcher manager. But when you see it from here, it's called settings. Let's open that up. And you notice here, we have shortcuts to access our settings. So for example, if I want to access my manage applications, I can click on that. And this will then take me directly to that section of the settings. If I press the back button, if I want to access my Fi TV, because maybe I want to check my storage, or maybe I want to check my IP address. Now the check for updates is a key thing and I highly recommend you enable the blocking of the Amazon updates because I'm pretty sure something is going to change once again. So once you're happy with this process, you're happy with the custom launcher, enable the block so they cannot make any changes to your device without your permission. Okay, let's press home key again. Let's go back to settings. And here we have the rest of the shortcuts. If I want to use the A word, open Plex. That still works fine. If I press the home key, I'm back to my custom launcher. If I want to search with my voice, open YouTube and watch Tech Doctor UK. And here we are. So searching with your voice works, but what doesn't work is for example, if you want to search for new applications. So for example, if I press the home key and let's say I want to search for Fitzy TV. There's a results there, but if I click on that, we can see it doesn't bring up those results. So how can we access the native Amazon App Store? Well, the way we do that, we need to go back to the settings, click on enable stock launcher, give it a couple of seconds. And then as soon as we press the home key, as you can imagine, we are back to the stock launcher. Now I can now search whichever application fits TV. I can click on that now. And there's a result. So it's not ideal, but as you can imagine with this workaround, there are going to be some compromises that we have to make. Okay, let's press the home key. So once you've installed the application or you search for what you want to search, I can now go back to here, click on one button, press the home key again, and we're back here. Now, one key thing I'm going to mention here because I just get asked in every video is how do we have this nice blank space at the top, which I do think it looks really nice, especially if you have some nice wallpaper because the default view is actually this. So yes, you see all of your applications, but you can't see much of the wallpaper. So how do we fix that? Well, the easiest way to fix that is just press the context key. Let's go to launcher settings. Let's go to sections. Let's go to manage sections. And here we want to add a new section. So let's click on add. Now you can call this wherever you want because we're actually going to hide it. So for a test, let's just call it uh, one, two, three. Let's click on next. Let's click on apply. Now we have the one, two, three section at the bottom. I'm now going to click on this icon here and I'm now going to move it up. So the new section is at the top. Let's click on that and click on close. Let's press the back button. So here we can see we have a new section at the top, which creates that blank space. But we can see on the top left, we have the title 123, which is the section name. So all we need to do now is just hide that. So once again, let's go to the context key, go to launcher settings, go to sections. Let's go to the new section 123. And we can now untick this because we don't want to show that title. Let's untick that, press the back key. And we now have a nice gap at the top so we can properly appreciate our wallpaper. And if I just press the context key, changing wallpapers, click on wallpaper, click on select wallpaper, go to internal storage. And this is because I've already downloaded some with downloader and I will leave a link in the video description of some of the wallpapers I've downloaded. So browse to that list using downloader, download whichever wallpapers that you like, and then it will appear in your downloader folder. So let's say for example, we want to go for, let's go to this one over here. And how nice does that look guys? We now have a brand new wallpaper. We can scroll down, access all of our favorite applications, scroll back up and appreciate the wallpaper once again. So that's pretty much it for the 4K Fire Stick. Let's now jump over to the second generation Fire TV Cube as the process is slightly different on that device.
Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. So on the second generation Fire TV Cube, you once again confirmed that ADB debugging is enabled. You've uninstalled any previous version of Fire TV settings or FTV Launch X. Once you've done that, you've also downloaded those two applications from our website, Launcher Manager and also the updated Wolf Launcher. Once you've done that, let's open up the launcher just once. That's working fine. Let's press the home key. And let's now open up the new launcher manager. Here it is. Let's now click on disable stock launcher. We get the prompt again, click on always allow and click on OK. Let's now press the home key. And on the second generation Fire TV Cube, we now also have the custom launcher working. Let's go back into the settings, which is just this icon here. And again, for example, if you want to access your equipment control, we can click on that, use a shortcut, press the back button. One extra key thing here, guys, if you scroll down, there is actually a special feature which will allow you to reopen the last app that was running. Let's say, for example, you're in the YouTube application and your device went to sleep. Now, if you enable this feature, if you wake up your device, this will then return you back to that application. So if you do want to enable that, let's click on setup and we can now click on enable. This means now the next time my device goes to sleep and I wake it up, it will automatically return me to the last application that I was using. So some of you may want to use that feature and if you do, that's how you enable it. Let's now press the home key and we are now inside that custom launcher. So that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I know it's been a couple of weeks that you guys have been waiting and I was trying lots of different fixes with the developer and we finally have a working solution. This process is only for the Fire OS 6 and 7 devices, but we are currently testing a method for the legacy Fire OS 5 devices. And I know lots of you guys have those older devices, so please do bear with me until we can work something out. So really appreciate your support, guys. Do let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.